Good morning, Jules. I am back. Oh my gosh, haven't you haven't seen me in a hot minute, have you? So, I want to do a real quick, well, not quick, but uh, a cute little ornament today that I thought of. I don't know if it's been done, but I guess, I guess, well, you'll have to see it again if you if you if you know if it's been done. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to be making a cute little Christmas tree ornament from wire some sisal that's got the little hairs on it you see that you see the little hairs and we've got some brown felt and some of the um i can't remember what it's called burlap with the lace on it and we're going to be using some cute little uh star ornaments here and we're going to be using some cute little beads to make some cute little ornaments to go on our little cute little christmas tree so let's get started. So what first we're going to do, it's going to move all this stuff out of the way. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this length of wire, doesn't matter how it's, it's according to how big you want to make your ornament. So we're going to form this into a Christmas tree shape. be a fat little tree or you can make it a skinny little tree doesn't matter so what you're going to do is you're going to take the wire and you're going to kind of circle it to connect the ends but that's not going to be seen so you don't have to worry about the ends and then after you get that circle down you're going to make a cute little trunk After you got the, the cute little trunk done, we're going to circle the wire again to lock that in. Now you're need, you will need a pair of wire cutters if your wires are too big. And I have a pair right here. Clip the ends of that kind of close. Just move that out of the way. And we're going to use our pliers to kind of crimp that down and fix the tree trunk because it looks like it's all out of whack. Alright, so it's not going to be the per most perfect thing. So, we have our Christmas tree shape. Now you will need some hot glue. You're going to need all this to stick. I'll say, now that we have our form, we're going to take the piece of lace burlap and we're going to basically shape this out. Shape your tree out. Let's see. And where's my scissors? You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead. Uh, what you're going to do is you're, I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to this. And then we're going to cut around the shape. So let's take our hot glue. down let it cool if you're if you're young children please have an adult supervision while working with a glue gun it's very hot it will burn you so please be advised parents Everybody's asking, where's your silicone tool? Well, it's right here. I'm getting it. Don't worry. I'm not going to burn myself, I hope. Let's press that down. Make 
sure it gets all stuck in there. Don't you just love glue strings? Love them to pieces. All right, now I'm going to cut around the shape of the tree being extra careful if you've got glue on the outside to trim that down. It's going to be sort of like a rustic kind of tree. All right, so we've got that cut out. It's not the best in the world. As you can see, you got glue around there, but hey, I mean, it's going to go on your Christmas tree. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this side down. You're not going to see this part anyhow, so it doesn't matter if you get glue everywhere. Because we're going to be covering that up with the brown felt to make it look like a tree trunk. Alright, so we've got that all glued down. Now, what you're going to do going to take your sisal or your hemp, whatever you're going to use, and you're going to lay this down over top of that wire. Another way you could do this is before you put the, the, the burlap on is you take the hemp or whatever you're using and you can wrap around the wire. That'd be another idea to cover up that wire, but I forgot to do that, guys. So, hey, that's a, that's a thing you can do. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to glue this around here, okay, like that. But first, but first, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to cut lengths from end to end to the tree, like that. And we're going to make what we what can look assumed to look like Christmas lights or garland strands. So we're going to glue that down. We're just going to keep measuring all the way down the length of the tree. Please excuse me for being quiet. It is very early in the morning. It is cold in this craft room, so that's the reason why you see me in my robe. Well, you don't see me. Oh, I need to cut that last one down. this last one on. So now you have what we what we have a cute little Christmas tree. Very rustic or vintage or whatever you would call it. Christmas tree. Very rough looking. 
That's okay. You can make it however you want to make it. It's up to you. Now what we're going to do again is we're going to take this, uh, this line here and we are going to cover that wire up like that. Have a glue stick. Right, we grab one before we get too far into this. Set that right there. Continue to go along the edges of this. And then all the while getting glue all over your fingers. Continue going all the way around. going to trim that off. Now, we've got that glued on. I'm going to trim that little edge off too. Cut all those rough edges. Alright, so what you have looks like this so far. Cute little vintage Christmas tree. Alright, now we're going to take a small piece of this brown felt and we're going to put it over top of that. So I'm going to cut a little square out to make the trunk. So we're going to glue this on. that down. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. Like me. And then we're going to take the scissors and we're going to trim that down. tree trunk. Now what we're going to do is the fun part is the decorating of these little garlands and so we're going to take our cute little beads that I have just randomly picked and we're going to start gluing these on. Just one by one. You just keep doing this until you have them where you want them or however decorated you want it. Oh, put two on there. And put him right here.
Be a cute little fun craft for your grandchildren or your children that's stuck in the house and it's too cold to go outside. This would be a cute little craft to add to your all's Christmas tree. Alright, now we have the we have the garland, the bulbs. And so next we're, what we're gonna do is we are going to try and find those stars that I've placed to the side. And we are going to glue the tree topper on like that. And again, glue. Put the star on. I'm going to put that on the back because I'm going to try and put a, a ring in the back. So, there's a lot of glue. So I am going to put a cute little rhinestone right in the center of that star. So we have a cute, 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 cute little Christmas tree. And let's see if I can find the, the jump rings. Let's see if it's big enough. I hope it is. And get my little pliers. Hopefully this hole is big enough. Well, don't look like it. I may have put glue in there. Oh my. Oh dear, I put glue in it. Hmm. I don't have anything small enough to poke that little hole. But you get the gist. I can't put the hole in there because I glued the hole shut. But what you can do is put your little jump ring here. Put it in the top. And you can hang it from your tree or you can put a little ribbon. Keep turning it around. But yeah, you can put a little ribbon through there and hang it on your tree. And you can put your date down here. And since it's 2020, we can put 2020 in the bottom. So there is your cute little quick Christmas ornament uh, from me to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share and like. And please place a kind comment in the comments below. I love you all. And thank you for coming to see me. Bye.